Hey guys, so let me tell you what happened while painting this model. And I mean this one. So this was set initially as an long painting video slash tutorial, but it turned out to be a mess of a paint job. It was a two week journey that got me thinking about a few things. So the most important one was making a plan for painting. Because up till this time I was working more or less this way. First of all, I find a model. Secondly, I Google some paint schemes. Then when I get more or less what I wanted, I start in getting into the process and letting the process guide me through it. Well, when I think now about it, and I'm gonna put on my glasses to look more intelligent, such a way of thinking gives a lot of liberty and a lot of freedom. But it also means that it sometimes takes weeks before I finish something. So let me describe to you what I mean while I'm showing you the painting process. All right, so this is the model, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I found him in my pile of shame, but we don't say shame. It is a pile of opportunity. Yeah, lots of bollocks. But the one thing that comes to mind is that this is a really cool design and I really wanted to paint something different again. So why not a Chaos Commissar? Off we go then. So the model has a really thick layer of white primer and I really don't remember if I bought him this way or is this my fault, but I knew that I had to strip him down. After cleaning he seemed to have more sense, the details were crisper and everything was more visible. There were some holes in the binding elements but nothing I was worried about at this stage. I took some meal pot, rolled it as thin as I thought it made sense and filled the biggest hole. Then I started pushing on it with the only sculpting piece of equipment I have. This was not a very hard process and I did not worry here. When Millipod gets hard, it can be sanded down and this was the plan. As it turned out, I used only a little of the Millipod and it was a shame to throw it out. I took as much as I could and put it on the base and had fun while pressing on it. I am not an expert in sculpting and using a base is a really good place to practice. Nothing much you can do incorrectly there. After an hour I put some extra texture paste to make it less flat. That was it for the base. I had to wait for the millipod to dry overnight. And here came my first mistake. I didn't have any plan with a time frame, nor was I in a hurry. And so I left him for two or three days just sitting on the table. Three days later. And please don't judge me, I really really love taking naps after work. To be honest, sleeping is something I'm really proficient on. But fun aside, I could have skipped the naps and just took one or maybe two hours out of my time for a few days and started working on him. When the time finally came and my laziness went somewhere else, I started cleaning the model. Just a reminder guys, clean your models after sanding them, not just with a piece of paper or a brush, but wash them with soap. I use Winsor & Newton brush cleaner out of convenience. It picks up most, if not all of the dust and grime, is super easy to use and dries really fast. Cheers to Flame on Miniatures, he does that and I got the idea from him. The next few steps are standard for me. A good layer of primer comes first. Use whatever and however you wish. Afterwards, it is always a thin coat of the black paint I will use in the painting process. I spoke about this a few times, but if you will have the need to paint something black again, there will be no difference. My primer is satin and the black Vallejo paint I use is matte. This would be visible if both would be next to each other.
Once again, we can see how unprepared I was. I googled some pictures for reference, but still ended up choosing my own paint scheme. This was already the fifth or sixth day and I had cleaned the model, prepped it and primed it, but could have done it in one or two days and not six. Was the time wasted? Um, let's say no. The color wheel showed me what I can use with purple. I don't know why, but I love painting purple. It also showed me uh, the highlights I would use. Cool. It had sense at that point. I painted the cloak with the airbrush. I like doing it this way, no specific reason for that. Then I just repainted everything else that should not be purple black. Don't know if it is a time saver, but it sure seems so. Have to test it sometime. I was diluting purple with red and this was something new for me. Normally I would add white, but this would dull down the color a lot and make it colder. If you add red, it goes to the warm red violet. That's cool. Thank you, color wheel. I was glazing and layering, glazing and layering until I was more or less happy with the result. I think seven days have passed and the model was barely painted. Not good. The red elements went through the same process as the cloak. I have different shades of red, so I don't need to mix it on my own, but remember to add yellow to red to make it brighter, and blue, for example, to make it into violet. If you add white, you will get pink. Black may be okay, but in my opinion it gives a strange shade. Once again, layering and glazing, layering and glazing. I really lost count, but I think this might have been the 8th or 9th day. Way too long for such a small model in my taste. And this is one of those moments I consider genius while thinking about it, but it turns out very often meh the next day. I have a really big stack of chaos models that I would like to paint sometime as night lords. If I got my lore correct, night lords tend to use militia or renegades or cultists. Call them as you wish. Why not make him a renegade night lord commissar then? This seemed cool, but once again the lack of any plan meant that I would have to improvise on the spot. This will be very visible later on, for example while doing my first ever free hands. I thought he would look nice with a pinkish skin and of course I have millions of bottles of paints and I am looking forward to every opportunity to try something new. Normally for metal I use Incubi Darkness with white or an off-white, but this time I thought I would go with a black, grey and an off-white mix. You can make an MM with every color as long as the highlight placement is there and there is contrast, and by contrast I mean dark and very bright places. The easiest way to distinguish where to place highlights is to take a picture of your model primed under a lamp and see how the light places on different parts. If you didn't do it, just put it under a lamp and see which places are the brightest and which that are the darkest and go with this way of thinking. The rest of the places are for the in-between shades.
The skulls. Not much to talk about here. The routine is the same. Use the paints you like the most for that and go with the dark to light fuel formula. I think at this point we were at day 10 or 11. I have been using lately ochre brown and ochre yellow for the gold NMM. I'm still testing it on different models to see if I like it. It makes sense I think for chaos because the gold turns out to be colder and darker. Just one good tip. Those paints have absolutely awful coverage on black. Paint the highlight places with some white or off-white. This will make your life easier. And if you paint over the border of black and white, you will get a soft blend because the paint will have a different shade. Something new I learned recently. A really cool idea. I don't have it on video, but I gave the shadows a little green glaze to make it even more of a dirty and worn out look. I think I am up to something interesting, but take a moment and share your opinion. So after many many failed attempts, I was really hesitant to put on decals, but my freehand skills are around non-existent at this point, so I needed some help. After placing the Nightlord decal and letting it dry overnight, I painted it over and done some highlights. I also freehanded a skull and a Chaos logo on the flag. I mean, it it looks like a 3 year old paint job, but I am happy with it. Surprisingly enough the decal took the paint well. There were some small things to do afterwards, like some small details, the base and the rim, but the model after 10 or 10 days was finally done. So this is how the model turned out. Pretty nice I think. Not perfect, but this process was so stressful and so long that at this point every outcome would be great. Have a look and share your opinion. This could have been done two times faster at least, if I hadn't procrastinated and planned ahead. Most things apart from the main colors were done on the fly and on the spot. I have lots of luck because for me there is very often a positive outcome, but I need to plan this next time better. A second model could have been for example done in those two weeks. So guys, what is to take from all of this? And believe me, it is very simple. A plan for the model would really, really help me. And having it beforehand and then just adjusting it a little bit to what would happen during the whole painting process would be very optional. I spent two weeks on this small model. That is way too long. In my opinion, this model should take more or less three to four afternoons. There was no serious blending here that would take so long. The model itself is detailed, but not very detailed. And it is not as big as a model as, for example, any demons. I do mostly the videos here on this channel to learn together with you and to show you my mistakes. And I made a few of them already here. And believe me, it makes me really happy when I can talk about them with you guys. Because this is the modeler's journey, making mistakes and then improving on them. And I already got some really spectacular comments that helped me immensely. So guys, feel free to write any comments that you wish. I will try to answer all of them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share. I would be really happy if you could also have a look at my Patreon or my Instagram. And of course, thanks a lot for staying this long in the video. So take care guys and see you in the next one.